Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Shadow TSI playing Grand Theft Auto Online. This video is about the five things that I find YouTubers complain about the most when they play this game. The first thing is cargo grievers. Well, at least you sold some of that product. I'm transferring what's there to your account. LJT out. This could be one of the most frustrating things about GTA Online. I mean, an alert comes up, it tells the guy to come and grab your cargo and destroy you. These guys are low level. They're not exactly the most cleverest bunch. That was unfortunate. But they do get the word to come get your cargo. Now, high level guys, that's a different story. Those guys there are out just to creep. I think they're just having it for the ha-has. Is it a legitimate complaint? I, I don't know. The game is designed to do that. You're, I think the original design, and I'm only thinking, is that you're supposed to run with a crew. You're supposed to have protection. Other than that, you can make a private public lobby. Uh, I made a video on how to do that for the Xbox One. I don't really know how to do it for the PC or the PlayStation. So I'm sure there's videos out there that will show you how to do that. Sometimes I go out with my Akula and I try to help guys out once in a while here, just like this here. And I protect their cargo from griefers. Mostly low level griefers. I, I tend to find them. And I try to help them out the best that I can and protect their cargo. Most of them are appreciative. Some of them, well, you know. The other thing on the list is tryhards. This is number two on the list. These guys here are hilarious. I mean, they're listen, they're playing the game their way. You know, if they really focus on player versus player stats, etc., then, you know, who are you to tell them they're not? Personally, I don't care what my stats are. I'm having fun in a sandbox game. It's not Call of Duty. But these guys take it as such. I don't really know what to do about these guys. I don't get inf I don't get messages from them like everybody else does in this game. I mean, you know, if they get it, if they if they come at me, I just blast them in the face. It's just that simple. So that's the what's one of the, the other thing that YouTubers complain about a lot is jet creepers and how to handle jet creepers. Jet creepers are tough. If they know how to use the jet really well, <laughs> your weapons are kind of useless. I find some cover and get the explosive rounds if you could. So do your research at the gun, uh, the bunker rather, and get the explosive rounds because that's going to take jet creepers out. It's the only thing it really does. Homing missiles aren't against lasers. Homing missiles aren't going to work. They're just going to dodge them if they're good enough. You can try an RPG or something like that, but that's a pretty uh, skilled shot. Number four on the list, the Oppressor Mark II. This thing is OP. You can go into a lobby and completely decimate a lobby all by yourself. The thing is fantastic, but everybody hates it when I get it. So how do you counter? I just get off get out of any vehicle or off and use my weapons i use rifles and you don't need any special weapons to counter these guys um if you're running cargo keep your eye on the map if you see one coming jump out of it they can't lock on anymore um it's unlikely that they're going to hit you with the missile because the locking on is what they rely on i mean i'm talking about the guys that that misuse it in a sense um but this is definitely one of the bigger complaints in the game, not just from YouTubers, for from everybody. The other complaint that I see a lot is that the community is toxic. People are toxic. So it's not just the GTA community. You're going to find roughly about 15%, and I'm just kind of making these numbers up, of people are toxic. They, they, they're there to make your life miserable. 
and that's their job and lot in life. It makes them feel better when you're feeling bad. So what can you do? You just don't let them bring you to that position. Don't let them make you feel bad. You're better than them, you know it, and you don't have to worry about what they think or what they do. Running around, if they if you get people that are running around and just randomly killing you or, you know, just being jerks in the game, you got to remember this is Grand Theft Auto. It's exactly what you're supposed to do. It's a griefing game. It's designed to grief. That's why the Mark II even exists. I mean, this is just my opinion. But when somebody goes around killing everybody in Grand Theft Auto, I don't call them toxic. They're just playing the game their way. My definition of toxic people are, I guess, different than what most YouTubers think. I don't mean to be ranting on these guys. I mean, these are legitimate points. They have a right to feel terrible about these things and say, oh, well, it's just the most horrible thing, etc., or whatever. Anyway, there's a lot of things broken, like loading screens. But there's a lot of good. The purple versus green alien war was tons of fun. I mean, it was it was so much fun. It really I, and it was community inspired. I mean, it fed to both the toxicity that people complain about, the tryhards, and it sort of made it fun for everybody. But I really enjoyed this part of it. That was this in recent things. It was good. If you like this video, uh, and I sure hope you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe you button. That deal. All right. Wiring the funds right away. LJT out. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.